happy 2016, I guess. Oh, you live to the new year, big fucking deal. You didn't die last year, oh. I guess it's a big deal. Anyway, <laughs> some of you guys have motherfucking goals that you want to accomplish this year. I know a lot about accomplishing goals. What all we do this year? We did a lot of shit. We own a supplement company. We launched two new products. My Facebook page went over a million likes, over 50 million YouTube views this year. I launched a new forum that has thousands of members now. Thousands of members on, on our, our paid forum, the highlight forum. If you in the highlight forum, what up? Shout, shout out to you. We put together our own masterminds uh, that were wildly successful. So having that said, let me give you five steps to help you accomplish your goals in 2016. Number one, set one major goal. Just set one goal. Like a lot of people set like too many goals and their, 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 their focus is diverted. Like all the, all the stuff we listed was all steps to move towards our major goals, right? Our, the major one goal. Like I only set one goal, but the, all those other things were just steps to accomplish this one goal. So I just set one major goal. Step two. Make sure it's big, it's big. It's gotta be big enough to excite you, get you out of bed every day, right? And, and three, make a plan. So I had one major goal last year and all the other stuff I listed was just things to help facilitate that, that one major goal. And it was part of a plan, like it wasn't random. It was all structured. So like make a plan and even if the plan doesn't work, like a bad plan is better than no plan. Like I say this shit all the time, but like we were gonna drive to Miami we wouldn't just hop on the fucking hop in the car and start fucking driving down. All right, let's, let's see where this street goes. Oh, there's a highway. Let's get on it. I don't know what direction we're going. Let's just get in it. The odds of you making it to Miami that way are slim. But if you map your course out, bam, then you have a way better chance. Which leads me to number four: track your results and adjust your plan accordingly. Right. So like, if you're not, if you're not, so if we're driving to Miami. And then we realize, you know what? This road is closed or, you know, I-95 is backed up. So maybe we need to find another route. You don't give up on the goal. You just try to find another way to get there. Especially in fitness goal. That's why I think like keeping a log and tracking your results is so important. Because when you log everything you eat, all your workouts, uh, how much water you drink, how much you sleep every night, you can see if you're making progress or not. And you'll have the data to know why you're making progress or why you're not. And if you're not making progress, then you can make the adjustment. And it's like that with every goal, right? The most important thing is to block off time every day to work on whatever your, your goal is. Like block off a certain amount of time. I mean, at least two hours you should be focusing on whatever your major goal is. Two hours every day, including weekends and holidays and motherfucking Christmas. At least two hours, preferably four. Those of you who read the one thing, uh, you know, and he used to just four hours every day just block off. And when I mean block off, I mean shut your fucking phones off, put your phones on airplane mode, put it away, like no, no, no interruptions, no email, no fucking Facebook, no Instagram. Just focus time on, on your goal four hours every day. Two, and a lot of people say, hey, I can't do that. I got school, work, kids. And I'm just like, yo, shut the fuck up, man. Because everybody I know with school working kids finds time to watch some sort of television show or fuck around online. And the fact that you're even sitting around here watching YouTube videos right now tells me that you have time. You have some fucking spare time. Stop fucking with me, man. How much, how many, how much time do people spend bullshitting on the phone or watching Netflix or whatever, man? Like, like yo, you got time. You just, you just don't have the discipline enough to focus. So that's gonna help you a lot, man. I think, I think. Uh, anything else, Brian? You want to add anything? My shit's a little bit more extreme than than that. I feel like you're being easy on them, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, two to four hours, right? But really, in reality, what we do is we'll, we'll be in here at 9 a.m., 9.30 at the latest, and we'll go. I mean, it's already past almost 10 p.m. right now, and it's a Saturday. If you're really serious about your goals, you know, just, like, don't do anything that doesn't yeah. fall in line with completing those goals. So if that means get off Instagram, if that means getting away from family or other people that don't understand, it, that's what you do. They're not gonna understand. Like if there's more shit I can tell them, like I feel what you're saying, like it was easy, you know, that was just for like, you know, what I said was gonna be hardcore I know. for mo most of these motherfuckers. Most of these motherfuckers are soft. Soft, man. Motherfucking pancakes, cupcakes, pastries. You know what I mean? Like you're soft, man. You're just soft in a motherfucker and like, Two hours of, of working on your goals is gonna be like more focused energy than you've ever put in anything. And I mean, most of you, most of you are fucking soft. Like, so we can go way 
more in depth, but I just feel like these soft ass niggas ain't even ready for that shit. Our interns are even more hardcore than most of the people I know. They're out here working for free just to learn and grow themselves personally. And uh, that's that should be motivating yeah. enough to people. Hassan didn't even have a place to stay when he was here. Yeah. He was like, no income, no money. He had stuff on the floor all summer, driving around hookers for money because I didn't pay him. I mean, I started paying him at the end, but I just, I just wanted him to put in that work. I just wanted to know he was serious. People think that that's like, Manipulative or we're, we're ripping them off, but really it's like that's how like the people get the best out of it Like if you read Think and Grow Rich um, Andrew Carnegie hired Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich to, He wanted him to work for him to interview all of the most the richest people on in the world right now And find out what the secret to their success was But he said he said it was gonna take years and he wasn't gonna pay him anything and he did Right this Andrew Carnegie was the richest man in the world at that at that time, you know, that's what I'm saying people don't get it you won't get it. Like that, we've already went into the realm where these average motherfuckers, these soft motherfuckers, won't get it, man. That's why I say it's lonely at the top. These motherfuckers don't be understanding what it takes for extreme success. They don't even get it. Like it's like it's, it's beyond their comprehension. But that's okay because everything great starts with one step, and then you yeah. readjust and you reevaluate. You know, you can't. Sometimes you can't even fathom five, ten steps away. You gotta just move up to the next step, and then from there you can then have the clarity and the openness to then experience the next level up. So, yeah. baby steps. Regular people hate these five steps. It's good enough to take you to the next level. You're gonna set, set one goal, one goal and focus on it. One huge, make sure it's big enough to excite you, get you out of bed every day. Make a plan, make a plan. People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan, all right? Uh, even even a, a bad plan is better than no plan. Track your results, see what's working and what's not, and make adjustments accordingly. And five was set uh, set aside at least two hours every day, preferably four, but at least a minimum of two hours every day to focus on your goal. And I mean, you should see like dramatic improvement. Oh, okay, one more thing. Oh, I had a six one. Uh, don't don't set year goals. Break it down into quarters, right? So it's like three month goals, it should be like, but it, it, during that three months, we try to get as much done as a regular motherfucker would get done in a year, we try to get done in those three months. So we, we get four times as much shit done. Oh, it's gotta be specific too. It's gotta be specific, That's you what gotta I'm saying. write the shit down. The goals gotta be measurable. You can't say, hey, I wanna lose a lot of weight. You got exactly yeah. how much you wanna uh, lose at, at exactly a time, or I, I want this, I want, hey, I wanna make more money. That's not specific enough, it's gotta, so, when I said, said it big enough, I should've said big and specific. It's gotta be measurable, it's gotta be like specific, like where anybody can look at it and say, oh, you hit it or you didn't. It can't be vague, like, oh yeah, I wanna lose some weight, or I wanna make some money, or uh, I wanna travel, you know, like, nah, nah, it's gotta be, where exactly do you wanna travel and by when? You know, how much money do you wanna have and by when? You know, like, how much weight do you wanna lose or gain by when? It's gotta be specific. So I guess those are the tips. You know, um, most of y'all not gonna do this shit. Most of y'all won't even do those five things, the minimum, right? Cause you soft, right? And to the high achievers, that's kind of like Brian. Brian hears that he thinks it's not even enough. But this is shit. This shit help me, man. I came from nothing, man. South side of Chicago, my fucking extreme poverty. Fucking grew up in a gang infested wasteland. Yeah, I got no motherfucking advantages except for I'm willing to fucking work hard as fuck, man. Like that's it, man. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. Yo, 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 what up, what up? We about to film, I'm about to film this workout video with these ladies. In that last video that you just watched, I talked about how I had some more I can say about uh, accomplishing goals, about making things happen. So I decided I'm gonna put together a webinar where I go in, into greater depth. You know, it's gonna be at least an hour. Then we'll do a Q&A for all the uh, participants. I know people have been saying, why don't you do Q&As no more? Cause I like to do Q&As and webinars now because it's, uh, you know, keep the trolls out, and uh, the people who register, I just know they're serious, you know, and, and I give away a lot, I always give away a lot of free stuff during the, to everybody, I give free stuff away to everybody who's watching, you know, free downloads, free workouts, ebooks that I don't give away anywhere else at the webinar, so if you want to be a part of it, click the link in the description. You guys should join the webinar. Don't miss out on this, guys. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? I'm waiting on 2017. That was going to be there. Now the mic, I don't know. Now I should play Depends. the cards. Now I play the cards right. 
<laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace.